Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the start of a new mini series here on my channel um, about how I am sharing with you guys ways to use up your Project Life cards that do not involve Project Life. So I have a whole bunch of Project Life cards in my stash. I've been having a hard time using them up and they've just kind of been sitting around. So today I thought I would share with you guys how to turn some Project Life cards into memory decks cards. So I do have lots of other ideas on how to use up Project Life cards that will come in future videos. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those videos. But like I said, for today we're going to be transforming them into memory decks cards. So if you're not sure what a memory decks card is, it's like a little, kind of like a Rolodex card, but you can put crafty things on them or use them for memory keeping or swap them out with your friends, which is what I do. So you can see this one here. It's really cute. I received this one from my friend Serena and then this one from my friend Sabrina. So let me show you guys how easy it is to turn Project Life cards into memory decks cards. First, you'll need to grab some Project Life cards. So I've got a small three by four one, a four by four, and then a few larger four by six ones. This one also folds, which we'll get to in just a little bit. But once you have your Project Life cards that you want to use, you can go about turning these into memory decks cards uh, one of a few different ways. So if you have a die, you can use a die to create your cards. I'm also going to be showing you how to make your own template. And then if you have a cutting machine, like a Silhouette or a Cricut, I believe there are cutting files online that you can get that will cut out the Memory Dex card shape for you. And you might have more luck with those if you use four by six cards. I'm not sure, because I haven't tried that yet. In today's video though, I will be sharing how to use a die on your Project Life cards but if you do not have a die or a die cutting machine, that's okay too. We're going to be creating a template where you don't need a die or machine at all. So let's go ahead and get started. To create your own template, you will need a piece of cardstock that is three inches by four inches. And I'm just going to put it on top of this Project Life card so you can see it a little bit more clearly and have a better idea of what I'm doing. You'll need a pencil, a ruler, as well as a hole puncher. If you prefer to have your cards with rounded corners, you can also grab a corner rounder punch. And you will also need a pair of scissors. So to get started with the template, turn your template so that it is a portrait orientation so it's more vertically oriented and then from the side you want to measure in three eighths of an inch it doesn't really matter where you do this because we're going to do it a few times so one two three eighths it's there three eighths and then three eighths and then go ahead and draw a line to connect all three of those marks so that you have something that looks like that, okay? And then once you have that, go ahead and line up your ruler with that line you made. And then you want to measure in and make a mark at one and a half, and then at two and a half, like that. And then at this point, you're almost done. So grab your hole puncher, and then you want to punch a hole into your template with that little mark right in the center of the hole that you punch out. So as you can see, it's right in there. So you just punch like so, and there you have two holes, and then you want to trim off a rectangular piece at the bottom of your hole, like that. And do that for both of them, like so. I'm gonna take just a little bit extra off so you have something that looks like that. And then that is your template for your Memory Ducks card. So let's test it and make sure it works. And it does, so you can see it moves easily. You can flip it around. And then once you have your template, you can use this to punch into anything. So let's go ahead and try that. So here I've got all those journaling cards that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to try it on this small one first. So it's really easy. You just line up your template on your card. Actually, let's turn it so the heart is the right way. So you just center your card on the template here. You flip it around and you make a mark where you want the holes to be and where you want the line to go. So you have something that looks like that. You can see the pencil marks I made and then you just repunch your holes again. And then you snip the little line pieces like that. And there you go. You can always add a tab or something on the top there. 
there's one of our cards. So if you receive any memory decks cards that maybe don't have holes punched or anything, you can always use your template to punch the holes, which you can see I've done here on this card that I received from Serena. You can see that I made my own little holes on there. So it's really easy to do. So let's go ahead and do a few more of these. So here I've got my template again, and I have a four by four card. So you can also do this with the four by fours. You just line it up, draw your guide little punch marks, lines. So that is what that one looks like. It's really pretty. You can also do this on larger cards. Like this is a four by six one. I don't want this whole huge thing to stick out. So I'm just going to, I think, put this up from the bottom a bit, like so. And then you can just trace around your template where you want the bottom of your memory decks card to be, where you want the holes to be, and where you want the cut lines to be. And then you just cut along this line that you made and then make the punch marks that you want to make. I'm just using my scissors for this to make it a little bit quicker, but if you have a paper trimmer, you can definitely use that instead. And there's that one. This one would be nice. You could cut like a tab shape into it. So maybe you can do something like that. So I'm just gonna use this cut off bit to help me trace around and create my own little tab template right there. And then I'm gonna use this colored line right here as a guide. So there is that memory decks card. If you have a four by six card like this one that is too wide to put into your memory decks box, you can use this template to cut it down to a smaller sized card. But I actually like to put the card behind the design and then hold it up to the light so I can see exactly where the template is. So this is kind of where I want it to be. So I'm just gonna trace around this. And then I may decide to add on a little tab here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Again, just using a discarded remnant from a previous card. Trace around that. And like I said, if you have some tabs in your stash that you want to use up, you can definitely use those. I'm just kind of making do with what's available to me right this moment. So that is what you would end up with. Now you can use your corner rounder to round these corners if you want them to all kind of match. You could just round the top corners, leave the bottom corners straight. You could round the bottoms as well. It's entirely up to you, whatever you want to do. And then I forgot to make my marks here for my punches. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Gonna center that, make my dots. Lines. So you end up with something like that and I think it's really pretty and it's an easy way to use up your journaling cards. The last little tip I'm going to share with the folded type of journaling cards, I don't know if they still make these or not anymore, but I have some in my stash that have this weird like score line down the middle. Here you can see that's what it looks like and these are really fun to turn into little mini file folders. So just take your template again, like we have been this whole time, center it in place, make your marks, and then you punch as usual. Go ahead and make your little snip marks too. Like so. And then you have a little folder that you can put into your memory decks. You could also make little tabs here or attach a tab to the back of this. You can do kind of whatever you want, but I think it's really cute. You could hold little tickets or ephemera in here or some extra pictures or whatever you want. So let's go ahead and pop these little dudes into the box. So here's the first one we did. Here is the four by four. So it fits in there nicely as well. We also did this taller one. I'm gonna go ahead and punch this top corner. I think that's really cute. This one is a heavier cardstock, so that's nice. He kind of pops out the top there. And then we have this one that we cut down from a four by six. Super cute. And then this is the little file folder one. So that one just pops right in there as well. And then you can see you can put stuff inside. So these are the ones that we made today using the homemade template that I showed you how to create. So let's go ahead and talk about using a die on the Project Life cards. 
So if you have a die like this and you don't want to mess with the template situation, that's totally fine. You are not as limited as you might think. You do not have to make just this shape of memory decks card. For this card, I used this die and a 4x6 journaling card and ran these through my Sizzix Big Shot so you can see that, you know, you can just get the standard size shape. You can also run this die through the machine with a 4x4 journaling card. The trick to this though is to make sure that you do not run the entire card through the die. You just run this bottom section. So you would make your sandwich like this with the cutting part down here and then when you roll it through your machine you stop like right about here so that you just get this cut bottom part and that way you can have a larger card with a smaller die. You can do the same thing on a 4x6 card. This one was a tall vertical card so I did the same thing and just ran this through partly through and then backed it back out. So I did create my own little tab on this one with scissors but you could also run this through a second time in your die machine. So you just put it through like this way, run it to about here and then back it back out. And then you would get this same top little um, die section right here with a little tab. So that's something else you could experiment with. Here you can see another card that I cut out using a four by six card. I think this one is really, really pretty and super fun. And then I also ran a folded card through the die machine with the die for this folded card. Again, I just partially ran it through the die machine. So I ran it in to about here and then pulled it back out because I didn't want like a weird like half tab thing up here. So it's easier just to put it in a little bit till it cuts out the bottom part that you need and then remove it. And then you still end up with this fun little folder situation that you can add a tab to if you want to. So let's go ahead and see how all these die cut ones fit into the box. Here. And the way I was able to get the tabs on the different side is that I just turned the paper over. So for one, I cut it this way, and then for this one, I cut it on this side facing up. So that's how you can get tabs on the different sides. There's this large one, a regular four by four, and then again with the folded. That is what those all look like. And as you can see, you can't really tell much of a difference between the ones that we made the template for and the ones that we used a die for. So if you don't have a die, that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. You can always do the template and it will work out just fine. So that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some ideas on how you can turn your Project Life cards into memory decks cards and use up some of that stash of yours. Cause if you're anything like me, you have way too many Project Life cards and not enough uses for them. So definitely make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future Project Life card hack videos coming up in the near future. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already and I will see and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!